Today on the channel, we finish off the Walmart exclusive WWE Mattel Ruthless Aggression line with Shawn Michaels. The Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Elite unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we've got the final piece of the Ruthless Aggression Series 1 Walmart exclusive puzzle in Shawn Michaels. But remember, for all your Mattel WWE needs and a whole lot more, to hit up Ringside Collectibles, use discount code KYLE to save 10%. Of course, the Ruthless Aggression era, a favorite of mine, especially in the action figure world back in the old Jax days. So it's really cool to get kind of a love letter of the past in some current WWE action figures via Mattel. And that's what we get here with Shawn Michaels. A bit of a tribute to his Jax Ruthless Aggression figure, Series 29 Ruthless Aggression figure. Uh, so what is old is once again new again. This isn't the first time we've seen Shawn Michaels, like I said, in this outfit. Uh, but it is the first time from Mattel. And we're going to do this review like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's take a look at the old Shawn Michaels right there. Look what he comes with. A favorite of our Jacks Ruthless Aggression days. Oh, a ring bell. Oh, if that ring bell could talk, what would it say? It would have a lot to say, as we know in a lot of our Jacks reviews over the last couple of years. But there's Shawn, big window box, extra hands, little glamour shot, got his name, WWE logo, Elite. And then what's it say up here? Ruthless Aggression. Oh, Ruthless Aggression. All about it. Very, very cool Walmart subline. Very interesting. Only three figures in this line. Uh, not sure the reason for that exactly, but there's Shawn Michaels on the side. And on this side, you get a little Shawn Michaels, Elite, Certified Authentic, True Effects, all that fun stuff. And then the back, you got the cross sell down below. You got Batista, you got Brock Lesnar. Check out those reviews on the channel. Those have been up for a couple of weeks. Uh, you got the tail of the tape, you got the blurb, and you got a glamour shot of Shawn Michaels in the ring. WWE logo and his name up there at the top. Let's see what it says about old Shawn Michaels, the old heartbreak kid himself. From San Antonio, Texas. Beautiful this time of year. Six foot one, 225 pounds. His finisher, the old sweet chin music. Career highlights. WWE Champion, World Heavyweight Champion, and Intercontinental Champion. The Heartbreak Kid enjoyed a career resurgence during the Ruthless Aggression era, putting on show-stopping matches and earning the name Mr. WrestleMania. He sure did. He sure did. And he is a favorite of many out there, of course. Ruthless Aggression, WWE, kind of the old scratch logo going on a little bit there. Very cool. Up high. See you later. There it goes. And we're back down to the Plastic Prison, an old favorite in the Plastic Prison, Extra Hands, and of course the Ring Bell. And the Ring Bell is even locked in, can you believe that? They don't want anybody stealing that Ring Bell, that's the most uh, valuable of all accessories, I would say. Pop these hands out, pop Sean out, there it goes, and the old Ring Bell, and we're off to the races, up high, see you later, there it goes. Alright, let's get down to business here. Much like every single Shawn Michaels we've got, or at least the last three Shawn Michaels, we get the big, big ricochet open hands here. Way too big of hands for Shawn. Just looks a little goofy to me. But we get these hands. We do not get fist. Once again with Shawn Michaels, we get just regular gripping hands. So it is what it is, but we've seen those many, many a times. Now this ring bell, I don't think is brand new, but boy, we sure don't get a ring bell very often in the Mattel line, especially compared to the Jacks days of old. You get that beat up wooden uh, ring bell all the time. You get it like in every single toy line of Jacks, every Ruthless Aggression line, somebody would sneak in a ring bell or a chair. Uh, maybe that's a little extreme, but it's pretty close. But this one, a much nicer, classier, cleaner ring bell than the old Jacks days. Uh, all black going on across the board, even down to the string, but nice to get a string with it. Nice to get a little black hammer, nice black bell. Uh, it would be nice to have some different colors, but I'm not going to complain about this. Uh, I'll stick this with one of my rings off to the side, and that's where this will sit for its eternity of its life. So there that is. Now we get down to the figure, we got the accessories done with, and we got Shawn Michaels. Uh, once again, not a ton of difference here outside of the colors. This first thing you notice is the Shawn Michaels head. We've seen this head so many times on so many elites lately. It is time for a, a different Shawn Michaels. Uh, just a very dead expression on this head. So I'm not the biggest fan of this head sculpt here. Just very dead in the eyes, no emotion in the face. He does got a little 5 o'clock shadow going on. Of course, the long Shawn Michaels hair and the ponytail. A very, very good figure. I'm sure the head pops off. It should. 
Pops off good like most elites do currently for your mixing and matching needs, uh, whatever you want there. Uh, then you get the same Shawn Michaels body style we've seen repeatedly. So once again, uh, you got to get the most out of your molds. And this is really akin to a repaint. That's what a lot of this whole line is about. Uh, sometimes we're getting some figures kind of re-released. Sometimes we're just getting new paint and uh, with the new articulation and the new pinless joints, which we do have here i'm happy to report so pinless joints there on the elbows uh the knees do still still do have the pins in the joints of course but up top we are very clean which you guys know i like uh the double jointed uh knees or elbows are very nice so with these of course and the knees i guess both are double jointed at this point hands removable as we know we do got painted wrist tape a little loose in the elbow here, a little loose in the arm, a little looser than normal. Uh, bicep cut, shoulders all around, of course, and then you get the big ab crunch going on, a little bit of movement there. Head removable, as we demonstrated. You get the waist articulation, you get the thigh cut, double jointed knees, and then you get the ankle articulation, a little side to side, a little up and down, so good ankle articulation with old Shawn Michaels. And then you get, of course, the paint job, the iconic pants. Uh, it almost looks like chaps, and then you got crosses going on down the side in white with the red crosses, white at the top, and then it looks like kind of red chaps to it. You got the red belt, a uh, little heartbreak kid, uh, hearts on the sides, each side, a little string wrapped through here, a little sculpt action, and then you get HBK on the back of the belt. Uh, very cool enough tights. Uh, not a ton of meat on the bone, like I keep saying with this one. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stain? And that's always good. A measuring stick, he fits like a glove. Uh, nice, iconic pants. When I think of these pants, I don't think of the match. I think of the Ruthless Aggression Series 29 figure. Uh, maybe I'm alone in that. Maybe people regard that to a match he was in. Uh, me, I take it back to the figure back in the day. And, of course, I have that right here for comparison. You've got to compare these two. And I really do like this Shawn Michaels from the Jax days. Yes, the articulation is not there. Uh, but, boy, this is pretty good. And knowing this was like 15 years ago, maybe even more, this came out. I'd say uh, it's really nice. It's really nice for what it was, especially back then. Always liked the Jack Shawn Michaels. I always thought the head sculpts were really good there. Not a big fan of this head sculpt. We've had some good Shawns. We've had some bad Shawns. And this is more of a bad Shawn to me. Needs some kind of an update. Uh, I just grabbed the last. Uh, we got that WrestleMania one. We got this one. We've got a lot of Shawns that are very, very similar with just different uh, painted body parts uh, for clothing and his uh, outfits and stuff. It is what it is. Get the most out of your molds. And, of course, Shawn Michaels, one of the most popular wrestlers, entertainers of all time in the WWE. They're going to keep releasing him, so that makes a lot of sense. We also got uh, thrown it back to the retro. I forgot about this one, but we got the Mattel retro. Probably one of the least favorite retros that Mattel ever came out with, but it is uh, go along with this paint scheme here. Uh, but not the best work out of the retro team. Hopefully we get some better retros in the future, maybe, of Shawn Michaels. But this one missed the mark for me and probably you as well. Uh, but cool enough. This Ruthless Aggression line is pretty solid. Of course, here's Brock Lesnar next to him. You got Batista as well. So we got enough guys in there. There's three in that set. We do know we are getting a Series 2. We'll be on the lookout for that one. Who knows when these are going to hit Walmart stores? Walmart's distribution on exclusives is just so all over the place. Hasbro has had a lot of tough times with some of their Star Wars stuff. Supposed to go up for pre-order, then they don't. Oh, it's coming up for pre-order in a month. Where is the uh, Hollywood WWE stuff? Where's that Bigfoot, Andre the Giant? I think that was supposed to be out in February. No sign of that. We did get one I reviewed on the channel here, but nothing as far as the stores. Scorpion King Rock, we haven't seen that. That Roman Reigns. No sign of that. Uh, Clone Wars, Star Wars, we've seen some stores get some clearance. Some stores, the majority of stores, not get them at all. I hope the Ruthless Aggression line does not have that same fate. I hope it does get out to retail. But who knows? Stranger things have happened. You might see these on ringside collectibles. You might see them on Amazon. Things like that down the line. We've seen that with some other sets that were supposed to be exclusives. That something uh, missed in the uh, connection of distribution somewhere along the line. Hopefully the Ruthless Aggression line gets out there. Everybody can get these figures. Uh, I got to think these will be very well, very good sellers for Walmart, of course, with some big, big time names here and some iconic uh, looks to these guys, especially like an old school Brock and a very iconic Batista and Michaels is Michaels. So we'll see what happens. The future is going to be interesting on some of these distribution things for some of these retailer exclusives. But what say you guys out there? You all in on this Shawn Michaels? Easy pass for you. Are you kind of over the head sculpt on this Michaels? You got to be at this point. We need something new. We've had this used enough. Time for something different. Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. Of course, follow along for this video. Many other videos early on Patreon. And, of course, SirPaul64 is where you can find me on Twitter. 
Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for Shawn Michaels, Ruthless Aggression, I'm Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.